This will be good news to small business owners this morning and perhaps within the next 24 hours. Lawmakers in Washington are negotiating a second stimulus package for small businesses in response to COVID-19. Now ahead, ahead of those decisions, the Onondaga County Executive and Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh, they're making sure that local governments get the financial relief they need. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc joining us now outside of City Hall in Syracuse. So Julia, do we know exactly what the projected debt yet is? Well, Dan and Jennifer, Mayor Ben Walsh says the city of Syracuse is expected to lose at least $20 million in revenue for the year 2020 and 2021. Now, that number for Onondaga County looks a little bit like $75 million to $150 million. Now, that's why everyone in local government is fighting to make sure they get a cut in this new stimulus package. So, Mayor Ben Walsh has been talking with 70 other mayors throughout the U.S., uh, as well as our federal representatives on the front line lines of this decision. He's been in talks with Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and Congressman John Kako. He says they all understand how important local governments are when it comes to an economic comeback, and they're working aggressively to get them the money they did not get in the last package. Based on our, our budget, um, we will be able to maintain the, the same level of services. So things like police, fire, uh, sanitation, other DPW services, things that, again, we need, everyone needs. Um, if, uh, if, if those become threatened by continued revenue losses, that shakes the very foundation uh, of our society. Now, Walsh says they could come to a decision on that package either today or tomorrow. He says they're looking at about a trillion dollars coming out of the new stimulus package. He says he knows a lot of that money will be going towards local businesses and hospitals, but it's still up for debate right now as to how important that funding is for local governments. So they're really just hoping for the best right now. Live in Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.